what's up, y'all? J Rod four four seven here, back at it again with some two K thirteen my player black top action, and um, yeah, today J Rod story time, and um, I'm gonna pick up where I left off. I left out a part, so basically I left out a part. Um, what we did was we had this game called flashlight thing where they basically some one person is one person has a flashlight and they pick on a group with the flashlight shining on the group and this was on the basketball court it was like nighttime so they shine on that group and they give a topic and they have to make they have to sing a song about that topic a real song so like say they said you have to sing a, a song about blue okay so i think i'm blue like i'm blue da -bo -bi -da. yeah that like that so basically this kid we had to set up the group we had to set up Separate people by our birthday months. Like, the kid was like, April birthday. But the way he said it, he was like, April birthday. I found out his name was Bort. And my friend said that he sounds like he has a dick in his throat. But, I, I didn't want to say that. I mean, that's kind of disrespectful. But I laughed. I can't lie. And if you're watching that video, I'm sorry, yo. He said it. But, yeah. That's exactly how he sounded. Our team didn't win. Our group didn't win. I wish we would have won. But yeah, that was the second day. I left out that part in the last episode. So, we're on the third day, which was our last full day. You know, same old, same old. Very as usual. You know, um, basically everything was usual. And until we got into right near lineup, evening lineup, there was a skunk right under our cabin. And I was like, oh my god, what? Skunk, and then every when I got out the shower, showers, there was like a baby falcon just hanging out. I'm like, what the heck? And then I go into the baseball field, playing my friend Kelly, and I see a freaking groundhog or something. I don't know what it was, but I saw so many animals this this summer. It was it's not even funny. I mean, I saw an owl swoop up a, a mouse. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna tell you about the mouse problem. I'm gonna tell you about the mouse problem. Next episode on J Rob Story Time, but yeah, I saw mice. I saw I saw turtles, water snake that I picked up with my paddle. Oh my gosh, it was crazy! And also, we had to go swimming that day because we didn't go the day before. So, if you're if you're coming from the other camp, you have to take a test. I said I didn't want to take the test, but I also didn't want to swim because you know I'm a little chubby and I don't want the girls to see, you know, me. So, the, one of the girls was like, J-Rob, I mean, Jordan. <laughs> well, I can't believe I said that. She was like, Jordan, why are you not going swimming? I'm like, I'm not going swimming because I don't want to take the test today. And, yeah. And then I would have to that would take up too much time. So, I just said, I'm not even going to swim. But, I mean, I didn't want to swim because I didn't want to show off anything, all right? I'm just being honest. But, I really don't care. I mean, that's just me. That's just me. So, I play, we did some other stuff, and at the end of the day, was, um, campfire. So, I said, I'm tired of being around one girl. Eden's took her already, so I said, you know what, I'm just gonna do me. So, at the campfire, I sat next to these, like, like, ten girls. And there was two of my friends there, Channing and, um, Ryan. What I didn't like was how Eden's, Marcus, and Tavon... We're just around one girl. I mean, like, come on. I thought y'all some max, but y'all, all right, fine. Y'all just want to be around two girls. It's all right. I mean, around one girl. It's all right, because y'all white. So, I was around this girl. I was around this girl, and I told her that when I grew up, I wanted to be a commentator, a basketball com a ESPN commentator. She was like, oh, I want to become an electrician. And then she told me that her cousin was Adam Schefter. And I'm like, Adam Schefter? I'm like, what? Wait, huh? Can you repeat that? Like, if you guys know who Adam Schefter is, there's a reason why I acted like that. Because he is really famous in the ESPN world. So I said, dang, I can get into ESPN. Basically, she's from Long Island. There was a few other girls. And I told her where I was from. And she was like, oh, we can meet up at the mall. And then my counselor right next to me, he started cracking up. He was like, oh, my God. And, and he, he right away, he knew. He was like, dang, Jordan Mackin. Jordan's back in. And, um, yeah, I mean, 
and then we took a picture that I couldn't even find for some reason. You know what's you know what's unfortunate? Oh my gosh, I had a a freaking disposable camera. Yo, I was when I wanted to take a picture with all the girls, I had no pictures left. No pictures left. No, I was so tight. So my counsel had to take one with his iPhone. Sent me the email. Couldn't get the freaking like I was like, what? Are you kidding me, son? Like really though? Like really though? Like really though? I was I was really mad. I was really mad because I was gonna post it on Facebook, but I was mad. And we had to put up these wish, um, like at our camp on the last day we do wish candles. We make a wish for anything that we want to change. And then at this camp we do they do wish lanterns instead of putting the wish candles on the water they put the wish lanterns into the sky. So this is a funny thing the the one of the girls was like oh my god the wish our wish lantern is gonna hit the tree and I'm like if there was ever a fire I'd save all you guys and they were like oh and then my friend said Jordy you know you'd be the first one running I'm like shut up babes come on you trying to trying to do that to me like really. Well, yeah, I, I said that. I said that. And, um, I got all their Facebooks and Instagrams. Should have got their numbers. I wasn't thinking. I only got one girl number from there. I'm so stupid. Oh, wow. I should have got... I, oh, yeah, I know I rated those girls, too. I can't. I don't even know where my thing is, but I rated all of them. But, yeah, I have all their Facebooks. So, that's pretty nice. It's pretty dope. It's pretty dope. So, on the last day, which was a Thursday... It was cloudy that day. I can remember it well. And, you know, that was our day, last day to leave. And one of my counselors, he was macking too. I mean, he, my one of my counselors, he goes to St. John's. He saw this girl, and, yo, she was the thickest white girl you will ever see in your life. But, dang, son, what? She had, she had curves. She had curves for days. But, wow. He, he was getting, he was getting his mac on. I saw him. And we also brought a rock from our camp. To their camp because the person who founded our camp, like the person that our camp is named after, he died. So he was the owner of Echo Lake for like 20 years. So we took a rock from our camp and put it on the big old rock at Echo Lake. And that was really sentimental. And it meant a lot to me because um, if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have this great experience. It's not just about girls. It's about meeting all these kids. And, you know, I made a song there too. And it was pretty good. I made a song there too. It was pretty good meeting all these kids. Maybe one day I'll see them again. They visit our camp in two years, so you know, anything can happen. Oh yeah, we also made a bet that whoever that somebody has to, I made a bet with my friend Justin. I was like, yo, if you can kiss a girl there, you can punch me dead in my stomach. And he punches really hard. He punches really hard. Right? So he says, okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. He, and he didn't kiss no girl, and I was so amped. But it never happened. None of us kissed none of those girls from that camp. Was I close? Not really. I was in the friend zone. I am stupid. Yeah, one of my friends, Alex, he said he was close. I think he's lying. I think he's lying. But, yeah, anyway, that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah, after that day, we went back to our camp. Um, One of my friends, Channing... He left that day, and then another girl, Jasmine, left. So, that was pretty, I was pretty mad about that. And, you know, that camp was pretty good. I mean, the overview is, they have a good lake. Um, they have a great lake. Their camp looks like a town. They have a senior village, which is basically the kids, like, 13 and over. And then they have the younger kids. But their price is, like, steep. I mean, you gotta be rich to go to that camp. Just saying. You got to be rich to go to that camp. I mean, if you got fifteen thousand dollars to spare over the summer for seven weeks, hey, that's you. And I wanted to work at that camp, but I can't work at that camp. My counselor told me he was like, "Oh yeah, you can't work at that camp because you went to Maury's camp." I like, are you serious? Come on, man, I can't work at that camp. And these girls want me to work at that camp. Like, serious? We we flipped that canteen. Oh, we flipped it upside down. We flipped it upside down that day. And the girls were like, oh, that was the best canteen they ever had. It probably was for them. And they said that we made that camp fun. I mean, if I was at that camp, every day would have been fun. I mean, I didn't get to do the archery and all the other stuff that the kids did, but I still had fun. I mean, you know, playing basketball, making music. 
I sound so stereotype. But yeah, so that's basically it for the whole camp experience. And this has been another J Rob commentary. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace. I said peace.